Hi everyone, welcome to In Vegas TV. Subscribe to this channel for more videos. Hello everyone, welcome to this goodbye review on In Vegas TV. My name is Ifeo Lua Olontaba. Here are today's headlines. The Punch newspaper. Brown said to represent Onochi, PDP, Senator Difa over rejection. Vanguard newspaper. Use machineries to fight insurgency. Rep tells federal government. Nation newspaper. Senate bill proposed 10 years jail for eight speech. Nigerian Tribune. Ballot boss Nashas risked 20 years in jail, says Senate. Passes bill to establish a Electoral Offense Commission. That is all on today's headline. Ballot boss Nashas risk 20 years in jail, says the Senate. What is your view on that? They have, they have not been an uh, actual accurate law to deal with them in the past. Now that there is law, I think a law should take its normal course. And whether they will do, they do not want to spend their life uh, 20 years in jail, such person should not go to the uh, set of sanction purposes when the election is going on. Sir, do you think it will bring credibility during the election? Your question? Do you think it will bring credibility of the, of the election? The credibility of the election? If, but the ballot process should be... Um, no, it will affect the election process one way or the other. If a uh, ballot box uh, the today is, is national, so that one is not. It will be to detrimental of uh, the actual uh, expected good result. Uh, my view of opinion is that they must give them life jail. My this is uh, if they give them to 20 years, if someone that 20, if 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 a boy or a man of 2018 uh, uh, is caught now, they jail for 20 years. After 20 years now, it will come back, we will do the worst. Because we will see many people that will be jailed. After I see them 24 hours, they will go and steal again. The best way for these people is life jail. Will this bring about free, fair, and credible election? Uh, no, 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 no. This, this uh, is just, uh, when well, they say something is 100, it's only 1% of that 100. Because uh, in that, the, that what it did, they are not giving us problem. If you just say both start by nine o'clock, they, they, they will get there until ten, eleven, twelve. Then if it, uh, after in that place where we are voting, they they they, they, they are, it's just like it's just like a bank. People are making money. These these politicians, the the parties, they are spending money. Ten thousand, five thousand, twenty thousand, they spend it. They are not looking at them. The policemen are even still there. They are they, 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 they are looking there. Then after that, you now. After that now, they, they, be, they, if they say they were supposed to close by 2, they may even close by earlier than that, 2 o'clock. So the everybody is, uh, is, uh, is, is, uh, is causing all this problem. As far as this I I would repeat it, that uh, the, the, the voting day, the, the, the ANEC are not timely. Then we will see the, the, the policemen will not be there until after, after, after voting. So when they say the voting is just about to remain 30 minutes, they will just come grab, 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 grab. I will see boys here and that, this and that. So that is, that is my view. It is a complete view. Thank you very much, sir. Um, I think it's a good thing, it's a good development. But that's not the only crime being committed on uh, election days. Even people who share money, these days now they've, got, uh, they've advanced. They don't share money there again. But there should be security agencies in plain clothes, 100 meters from that place, monitoring. Because each of the contestants have their agents around that area where they invite voters and give them 2,000, give them 5,000 or 5,000, where they share money. Such places should be identified on, on days of election. So they should pass a law to, to make sure people touch, maybe sharing money. For people to vote for their party, they should be arrested. And the, their sponsor, they should make sure they interview, interview them to know their sponsors. And there should be, there should be an, uh, a form of punishment for them.
Will this bring about free, fair, and credible election? That's just a, a step towards free, fair uh, election. But uh, the major thing is people who share money on that day. Every day, uh, every election, they are changing their tactics. So it's now left for security agencies to make sure they monitor effectively and make sure we look at people who, who don't have card or who are just saying somewhere making signal. This is a nation. How can this be effective? Because normally police force and other security agencies are usually present at the election spots since stashing of ballot box occur. I mean, uh, the way I see look at it, uh, the, the, the that us from our police people so that they will be more committed. Because when this type of things happen, the moment they set to our police force, we know them now. After all, we have uh, similar cases. The, uh, it's part of being taking your job seriously. These health men kill us. Are, are they not within us in Nigeria? How many, how many of them as Nigerian police are arrested? Or how many of them are arrested by people taken to police station have been interrogated and taken to court? So these are part of the issues we are facing. So me, or, as far as I'm concerned, I don't know. I prefer military people instead of police to be in charge of those places. And we are still a bit more committed than uh, police. But the moment any of the consultants set to them, it's a matter of settlement. Uh, it's a good development. Uh, election rigging is, uh, is an offense. It's a criminal offense. But uh, since I returned to democracy and in time past, it has uh, been taken with a key glove so that it's tolerated for too long. Yes, and the standard practice globally, election rigging is, is a criminal offense. But because those that get to the corridors of power, they benefited from election rigging. So they tend to look the other way around because some of them came through fraudulent elections. So, but the standard practice is that stealing of election results is a criminal offense, you understand? Ballot snatching is even the height of violence on the own. So that legislation or proposal is a good idea. And once it is passed by the National Assembly, the president should assent to it. So that all the political actors, whether both in the PDP, the APC, and any other political party, they will know that any time elections are rigged, or you steal the ballot boxes, or you cop election offenses or, cr or criminal activities, you will be prosecuted by the law. So we should also strengthen our legal framework. Our laws should be strengthened in such a way that those that steal ballot boxes, those that commit violence are led by killing people at the election uh, uh, polling booths. That what happened in Ekiti some few months ago, where people were killed on election day while exercising the army. So things like this should be taken seriously. Because the moment we punish electoral offenders, it will serve as a deterrent to others. But the reason why people take uh, ballot crimes, uh, steal ballot boxes, commit crimes, and go score is because uh, nobody will hold them. It's either they are being backed by a ruling uh, authority or somebody who is in power, a power broker somewhere. So that's why things like that are first time for someone. But once we have this in place, the normal things will begin to fall in place. We're going to live a orderly, decent, and a better society. So I think it's a very good legislation and it's a good step in the right direction. Okay. How can this be effective? Because normal pol normally police force and other security agencies are usually present at the election spots. Will smashing of ballot box occur? Uh, it depends on the enforcement, you understand? Because if you make a law, they need to be enforced. So if this law is passed, the police or security agencies now know that they are empowered by the law to arrest election offenders. It's as simple as that. And once they are arrested, they are taken to court and they are prosecuted. Evidences will be mounted against them. You understand? Even the election petitions tribunal should also be enforced by law to also deal with uh, electoral offenders. You shouldn't just be taking a case there and then trying your case. Even electoral offenders can be empowered by the, the tribunals nationwide to try election offenders, you understand? It's just like you, you are just giving the legal uh, system another, uh, what they call the structure, to, um, uh, to amend their uh, ethics or the code. 
session of the tribunal, so that's an. The Toyota tribunal can also try electoral offenders. If a policeman catches somebody reading the election, the person can be arrested and take it to the electoral tribunal. Once you are trying a case, you can also try that uh, concurrently or simultaneously, you understand? So the most important thing is that once the law is made, the police should be encouraged to go after election offenders. They should enforce the law. That is all it takes. That's why they are called law enforcement in the SC. Enforce the law. The law has been made that whoever starts this ballot box is 20 years, arrest the person and take the person to court. So whether he's a member of the APC or the PDP or any political party, that person should be made to face the law. It's as simple as that. The law is above any party or any individual. All right, thank you very much, Sir really, This is where you come to an end of today's edition of Newspaper Review on In Vegas TV. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram at Niger Vegas TV. Till next time when we come your way, have a lovely day.